In this video, we're going to be doing a revisit of the Rockville Rock Party 6 Bluetooth speakers. Hi, I'm Dale, and this is Dale of All Trades. Come join me in my passions, my repairs, my reviews, and anything in between. Every video is something new, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Welcome back everybody. As you can see, we're doing a recap on these Rockville Rock Party 6 speakers and I gotta say there's not much to complain about. They have been great for me. I really don't have any issues. Maybe just one slight little complaint, but other than that, they have been great. As you can see, they are fully wireless. There is no wires for anything. And if you don't want to use Bluetooth, there is a TF card reader slot with a USB reader slot. And if you do prefer line in audio, you can have an auxiliary cable and they are linkable wirelessly. If you want a lot more spec details about these speakers, go ahead and check out my other video. I will link it here or at the video in card at the end of this video or in the description section below where I will have tons of other information. So always be sure to check there. Before we get too carried away in this video though, I do want to ask a huge favor, and I know this is a broken record for a lot of YouTubers, but it really helps us out. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon below. It really helps this channel grow, and without you, I can't do that. Also, it comes with an added bonus because I always come back to items like this or anything I've repaired on my channel, and I let you know how it's doing. So by hitting that subscribe and bell icon, you will be notified when I post update videos like this one. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the first thing I wanna show everybody here is the audio quality, because obviously that's gonna be the biggest concern with any speaker above battery life, above range, for wireless capabilities, everything. The audio quality has to be good, right? It's a speaker, you want it to be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a test audio from two different copyright songs because YouTube is super picky and uh, hopefully it comes through on the microphone good. I actually shot this previous and went back and listened to it. The only thing I've changed on my end for audio quality is I lowered the decibels down on the microphone to try to avoid audio cracking on your end so you can get the best idea what these sound like. And they do sound good, but I will let you be the judge of that. Just keep in mind that you never get the perfect audio from speaker to microphone through whatever you're watching this video from. But without further ado, here is the audio test. Again, you have a bass board on both. up a little bit.
you can see, they are plenty loud enough, especially when paired together, but I'm here to tell you one will even get the job done for you. Okay, so that's what they sound like. I think they're super, super awesome. I barely ever even use them on max volume because it's actually almost too loud. Now, my only complaint about these it is an audio issue, and it is the only complaint, and it is the bass. I do wish they had just a hair, hair bit more bass, it, it, just a little bit harder hit. And that is something hard to do when there's not an actual dedicated woofer. There's two speakers in here, and I believe they're kind of a mix between a woofer and a regular speaker. So again, it is hard to get a heavy bass hit. But overall, it is crystal clear audio quality. I've never had any cracking out issues or anything like that. And everybody that has been around them at parties or family gatherings, etc., they all agree that it is an awesome speaker and they want to get one too. I really love how they put these together. I like that they have tons of extra features. I also like that they have two microphone inputs for karaoke and I do eventually want to post a video of just these just doing karaoke just a small little video to show how it works they uh, have echo features all kinds of stuff like that you can control the microphone volume separate and the audio volume separate so it's super easy to work with you just hit the menu button go through your options that way and turn it up and turn it down also both of them come with their own remotes so if you lose one they both work with each other uh, and the remote has even more options than the tower does. Another thing you could see during that audio test was the different styles of strobing that the accent lights do. Uh, I prefer this one and you can also control if you just wanted a solid light and not changing colors like they are now. So a little bit of what I've been using them for and how they've been doing great for me. I have used them by the pool. I have used them outside during fires, when the kids are playing on trampolines, etc. They are awesome for outdoors. Just keep in mind they are not waterproof, water resistant, anything like that. So if it were to rain when you're on outside events, I'd get them in as quickly as possible or at least make sure that they are covered. That being said, I did take these out on my boat for a boat outing um, to camp on the island. And I just took one because it was easy to just take one versus two. And that thing, it, it rocked. It really did, it rocked and it lasted all night. I got home to charge it and the battery still read full. It did charge for hour and a half or so, but it lasted all night on about volume 15. So these things are really good. The battery life is great. I have yet to run either of these dead. They just don't die. I have played eight hours and they are good to go, they don't die. I plug them in, charge them when I'm not around, go back out, unplug them, they last forever. The audio quality has not decreased in any way with these. I, as I stated before, have not experienced any audio cracking or any just odd audio things. Another thing to mention is the distance from each other is great. I have had them about mm, 20 yards apart and they've stayed connected 10 yards if there's a lot of obstructions but they stay connected fairly well once they're linked by the TWS feature and range from these to my phone I would call it moderate I have gotten with no obstructions in the way trees or anything about half an acre away from them and they have stayed connected just fine now if you go inside a building through a wall they crack out and lose connection. But if you're in a fairly open area, you can get a decent distance away from these things and still control everything wirelessly from your phone. Another thing I'd like to add about the charging, if you do find yourself with these dead and you wanna use them, you can play them while they're charging, which is another really nice feature. It just drives me nuts when these manufacturers make things in a way that you can't play them while they're charging, especially speakers, because 
we all know batteries are going to die eventually or even go bad. That's also another nice feature. If for some reason the batteries were to fail in these things, you'll still always be able to play them plugged in. So that was an awesome feature for me. I love being able to use things while they charge because you're never totally out of luck when it comes to being able to use them. Well, folks, that's about it. I really don't have too much more to say about these because there's really no negatives behind them that I have seen. And if I do ever find a negative, one of them fails, something goes wrong, or they're just going strong like a year later, I will keep you updated on this. So as always, I hope you all enjoyed this video and it helped you out, and I will see you in the next one. Please subscribe to my dad's channel.